Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss what is label encoding in machine learning and how to perform label encoding in Python using sklearn library. First, we will see what is uh, label encoding. Whenever we get uh, data sets in uh, machine learning, usually one or more uh, columns may contain uh, multiple labels. The labels uh, may be in the form of words or they may be in the form of uh, numbers. Usually, uh, the labels will be written in the form of words so that uh, the data set can be easily understandable. But uh, what happens is uh, whenever we want to give the data set as an input to a machine learning uh, rhythm, we cannot uh, give that particular thing directly because uh, uh, machine learning library expect the data to be in the form of uh, numbers or you can say that the numeric form of data. So what we perf do in this case is uh, we will perform something called as uh, label encoding. What label encoding does is uh, it will convert the labels uh, uh, into a numeric form so that uh, the machine learning algorithm can easily understand that particular data here. Mach label encoding is one of the very important uh, pre-processing step in uh, uh, what we can say that any uh, supervised machine learning uh, technique here. For example, uh, let us say that uh, there is a data set uh, containing uh, height as one column and uh, it has some different uh, values like uh, tall, medium and uh, short. So in this case, uh, uh, just to make this particular data set understandable, we put uh, tall, medium and short in this case. But uh, we cannot give this data as an input to any machine learning algorithm. So first we need to convert it into what is that called as numeric values. So after applying a label encoding, uh, we will get uh, 0, 1, 2. Wherever there is tall, it will be replaced with uh, 0. Wherever there is medium, it will be replaced with uh, 1. Wherever there is short, it will be replaced with 2 in this case. Now uh, we will see uh, how can we uh, perform label encoding in Python using a scalar library. In this case, I am going to consider iris dataset. Uh, there is a target column called as uh, species, which has uh, three possible values. One is iris setosa, second one is iris versicolor, and third one is iris uh, virginica. So uh, this uh, target column contains uh, the labels in the form of words. This cannot be given as an input to any machine learning uh, algorithm. So first we need to convert these labels into uh, numeric values. So that uh, I will show you how to perform using uh, uh, sklearn library in this case. Uh, first what we do is uh, we will import uh, two libraries. The first one is uh, NumPy and second one is uh, Pandas. Next I will read the data set that is pd.readcsv iris.csv. So iris.csv is the name of the data set. I will read that particular uh, data with the help of uh, readcsv function in this case. After that uh, I will try to print the unique values from that uh, target column that is uh, spaces. If you see the output in this case, it contains uh, three possible values, iris setosa, iris versicolor, and iris uh, virginica in this case. All of these are uh, the labels which are written in the words uh, format. Now, uh, this one cannot be given to any machine learning uh, algorithm as I said earlier. So, we will try to apply uh, label encoding on the top of this particular, uh, uh, the last column that is a spaces column in this case. So, what we do is, uh, first we will import a library called as uh, pre-processing from uh, sklearn and then uh, we will create an object called as label underscore encoder with the uh, of, uh, of the function label encoder in this case. So once you create this particular object, uh, we can uh, use this particular object to convert the labels into numeric values uh, that is shown over here label underscore encoder dot fit transform that's a column name. This is in this case a DF spaces. This is the last column on which I want to perform label encoding in this case. So once I execute this particular thing, the labels will be converted into numeric values. The first label will be given value 0, second label will be given value 1, third one will be 2 and so on. In this case we have uh, three labels. So we will get uh, 0, 1, 2 as the uh, numeric values for that particular last column in this case. I will print those particular unique uh, values uh, with the help of unique function. If you see the output now, uh, the output contains 0, 1, 2. That is uh, the first label is replaced with 0, second one is uh, with 1 and third one with uh, 2 in this case. So this is a very simple process with which we will be able to convert the labels into a numeric values uh, in Python using the scalar library in this case. 
now uh, we have some disadvantages with respect to uh, label encoding what label encoding does is uh, it will convert the uh, labels into what is that called as numeric values starting from uh, zero that is the first thing for example if you have three labels the first one will be zero second one is one and third one is two that is what we have seen in the previous slide now if you have some 10 uh, labels it will be zero to nine in that case now what happens is uh, whenever we have some numeric values what uh, machine learning algorithm considers is uh, uh, there will be something called as a priority issues for example the value uh, 0 will be considered as uh, the low priority and the value uh, 9 or it may be the maximum value will be considered as a uh, more priority so that is a big uh, problem with respect to label uh, encoding in this case to avoid this particular uh, uh, limitation or uh, uh, disadvantage we have something called as uh, one hot encoding or uh, dummy encoding uh, they will uh, uh, remove this particular what you can say that the limitation in this case of course they will I hope uh, the concept is clear uh, how can we convert uh, the labels into uh, a numeric values if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button uh, for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching